Hi, it's Dr. Smith from Winston Central Surgery with another video helping us to work well together to provide you with the best care that we can. Now, today's video is all about vaccinations, and let me explain why. We recently linked up with the Royal College of General Practitioners who helped us do a bit of a review of the different services that we provide here. One thing they helped us see was that our uptake on vaccinations compared to other GP practices is quite low. So we thought, what could we do to try and help out with that? because vaccinations are really, really important. Vaccinations tend to work by something called herd immunity, which means that if you vaccinate enough people, the disease will be suppressed enough so that very few people actually suffer from it. So we're really keen to do what we can to increase our vaccination uptake and work with you on that. So I thought it'd be helpful for us to explain what vaccinations are coming up in the coming months. As with the past few years, there's going to be boosters for COVID and flu. These are for people aged 65 and over, and also those who have clinical conditions that make them vulnerable. The full list of that uh, can be found on the government website, and I'll put a link in the description at the bottom of the video. You may have received a message inviting you to an appointment for a new vaccination this year called RSV. That stands for the respiratory syncytial virus. This is not a new virus. In fact, it's been around for quite a while. Um, and it's the virus that is often uh, there if you have a cough or a cold. We have noticed in recent years that this virus can make people more poorly, especially if they are very elderly uh, and frail, or actually if they're very, very young babies. Uh, so a vaccination program has been brought in initially to vaccinate people between 75 and 80 uh, and also um, pregnant mothers towards the end of their pregnancy. So at the moment we've sent messages out to those people but we're anticipating that this vaccination may also become available to more people and we'll let you know when that's the case. So here's a bit of a summary of what we've discussed. We've talked about COVID-19 and flu annual boosters which are present for people aged over 65 and those at risk. And we've got clinics available for those vaccinations on the 12th and 26th of October. We also mentioned this new vaccination, RSV, which we anticipate will also be an annual booster. At present, it's for age 75 to 80 and those pregnant over 28 weeks. Again, we'll be in touch with you and please book into our clinics on the 14th and 28th of September. And I also mention here the pneumococcal vaccination, which is a one-off vaccination for those with chronic conditions such as COPD and heart failure. We'll fit these vaccinations in when we can, and we'll let you know if you need to have one. So we've mentioned COVID and flu, RSV, and also pneumococcal vaccinations. Of course, there are also vaccinations for young children and shingles vaccinations. And we'll let you know if you're in the cohort that it's appropriate to be having these vaccinations. We know, especially after the pandemic, that there's been a bit of a wave of vaccination fatigue. People are thinking, oh, not again, I don't want another one. And we totally understand that. We ourselves obviously have lots of vaccinations and we sympathise with you when you get another message asking you to come back. But please do come in for your vaccinations, because if you do, then we know that these conditions can be suppressed and we know it's far less likely that people are going to get unwell. I hope that's been a helpful video thinking about vaccinations. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.